Believe it or not, this is gonna look pretty amazing by the time we get all the rock in here. The fish will be back in here. The bridge coming over in here. So we've got a lot of pond on either side of the bridge, which will look incredible. I think Jack just doubled the size of the pond though with I his excavation. <laughs> this is a big pond. It's Ralph's money, we don't Well, <laughs> he had a 50 foot liner and he said, I think we were gonna do like a 19 by 18 foot pond or something, 19 by 20. And we used every inch of the 50 feet, so. <laughs> Jack just said, ballooned me. <laughs> like, ah, what budget? <laughs> He's gonna love it. Yeah. That's all that really matters. And you know what? You guys are gonna love it. Guaranteed. Wow, you don't get too many guarantees nowadays, do 100%. you? 100%. 100% guarantee. <laughs> All right, finished up that bio falls. They're getting the base for the bridge set back behind me. You can see Blackie over here working on the pond edge. I got the bio falls finished. Not bad for what we had to work with, but it'll look even better once the plants and stuff start coming out in through here. Get some of the landscape in, and then I hear the too familiar sound, oh so familiar sound, of a drill. And you got Keith and Steven over here putting the final touches on his homemade bridge. Bing that out pretty quick there, Keith. Well, yeah. Jack that's, because, yeah, Jack said you had to, right? <laughs> Perfect. How long is it? Eight foot. Eight foot. Nice. Yeah, three feet wide. That looks awesome. So you can see we got the aqua blocks, the vault set for the intake bay. I take in the slider. Actually, Jack, will you just explain this? Here's the deal. We cut this whole area down 18 inches below water level. Now we could have like built up a dirt berm here and then cut a depression for the blocks. It's easier to do it this way because what I'm doing is we just lay them on the flat and I'm at the elevation that I want for the blocks, which is about eight inches below the water. It's gonna give us a nice skim. If I just left it like this without the liner in front, the water would pull through the blocks 18 inches down and there'd be no skimming. So in order to force that to happen, I tucked a piece of liner up just about like six inches underneath the block, essentially blocking off the front of it. So the water can't get pulled through here. It's forced to then be pulled this way and then down. What that does is it creates a current. So the water column is only about this thick. It's going to draw from the surface. If we made it too deep, you wouldn't get that surface drawn, hence you wouldn't have any skimming awesome. action. But what's gonna happen here is water is gonna come in with debris. There'll be rock work inside here, just looking like an extension of the pond. Keith can take a skimmer net and stuff out because it's gonna do like a swirling at yep like it'll just be a whirlpool here just gently turning keeping the stuff pretty condensed and it's super easy to take it out what i really love about this type of skimming system is the fish can swim in and out of it without getting caught so true believe it or not this is going to look pretty amazing tomorrow by the time we get all the rock in here and like jack said the fish will be back in here the bridge coming over in here so we've got a lot of pond on either side of the bridge which will look incredible i think jack just doubled the size of the pond though with I his think, excavation <laughs> This is a big pond. It's Ralph's money. We don't well, <laughs> he had a 50 foot liner and he said, I think we were going to do like a 19 by 18 foot pond or something, 19 by 20. And we used every inch of the 50 feet. So <laughs> Jack just said, ballooned me. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, what budget? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to love it. That's all that really matters. And you know what? You guys are going to love it. Guaranteed. Wow, you don't get too many guarantees nowadays, do 100%. you? 100%. 100% <laughs> guarantee. Well, I think that's a wrap for day four. Tomorrow, we'll bang this out. Out. This will go relatively quick. And then uh, Saturday we're out here maybe just getting after shots. Yep. A little bit of landscape. That's the deal. All right. Good night, everybody. Uh
So I'm here with Keith, a homeowner, our customer, more importantly, future certified Aquascape contractor. Yes. Right? Plan. Yes, sir. Keith, how did this all come to be where uh, you found Ralph? You know, I actually saw Team Aquascape YouTube videos as well as Atlantis Water Gardens. I actually hadn't seen anything on Ralph's yet. So I really wasn't sure who was out here. So I was going to actually build a pond myself. Watching you guys do it, I was truly inspired. I was, you know, I figured, shoot, you know, why couldn't I? And the more I watched and the more I studied and learned, I really understood this was probably going to be something that was bigger than me. So I decided, you know, I'll, I'll contact Aquascape and see who they recommend. And I actually had two different people that you guys notified me for uh, here in Arizona. The only two, I guess. And one of them was Pondscape's AZ. That was Ralph. He was the first to contact me. And we just got to talking and eventually was able to get him to come out to take a look at the place and offer his advice. And it just, you know, it just grew from there. I was so thrilled. The entire process from start to finish has really been great just getting to know him. And when he was out here, we were talking. And the biggest thing that my wife and I, she pushed it a little bit quicker. She said, hey, Ralph, I know my husband would really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. What do you recommend? What do you think about that? And he was extremely supportive. And, you know, we set it up to have Ralph come out here and get this pond done. In that process, I started talking to Ralph about, you know, I, I thought about doing a couple water features in the front, you know, maybe something on a smaller scale, something that I can manage. And, you know, Ralph really helped me from beginning to end and I was able to complete these. Well, let's take a look at these because I saw them when I first drove up. I was like, wow, there's, there's a guy out here with some skill. <laughs> these are incredible. Well, thank you. I mean, coming from you guys, that's Jeez, I, I mean, that's huge. Well, let's not even show your front. Let's just show everybody else's front yard, right? There's not much going on. It's kind of this like gravel jungle. A couple plants here and there. Very typical neighborhood. And then you've got Keith's over here. And it's still, I know it's a work in progress and you've got a lot more plans for these areas, but a really awesome pondless waterfall. And what I'm most impressed, Keith, with the pondless waterfall is the way the movement of the water. Like it really twists and turns nice in here. And that's a hard thing to visualize. I saw some of the pictures inside your house. I think you having an art background helps a lot with this because you can visualize it, I think, better than some of the other people. It looks incredible. And for this being your first one, I'm just super impressed. So he's got a great little Babbly Brook stream kind of facing a little bit more towards the front of the house. And then he's got the classic urn set up over here that's visible from everybody driving by. And so we're going to go in the back and it's very rare that you get Ralph, Jack and I together. And we're going to see if we can't impress you with a cool water feature in the backyard. Maybe as equally as impressed as I am by the ones in your front yard. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, awesome. So Keith, tell me a little, so the goal is to become a certified Aquascape contractor? Yes, sir. And you're gonna come out to the academy and pandemonium and Absolutely. whatever yep. training you I can? I already have, my. actually my wife and I both <clears throat> are going out in the end of February. Awesome. Yep, so we'll both be there. She wants to kind of learn the, the business side, which really helps me because that has been always been my Achilles heel, especially as an artist. I've never really sold my art. Everyone tells me, oh, sell it for more, but that's the hard aspect. So yeah. the business side is what I need to learn as well as obviously this is a whole new venture for me, but I love being outside and I love the art aspect. So here's one thing you're gonna find it kind of funny. You, I hear you and Jack and Ralph all the time talking about how when you're putting a rock down, you let the rock kind of speak to you on where it should go. Yep. Well, here's the irony is my entire life, I've been in doing art my entire life, everything from tons of different mediums. I wood burn, I airbrush, I draw, I paint, just about every medium I do. I even glass etch and wood carve. And the one thing that I've always felt is, you know, I've always breathed life into my art, but I've never had it actually speak back to me. And ironically, those water features, that was the first time in a sense, my art actually spoke back. Oh, and that's awesome. I was hooked from day one. And that's just something that for me is just enormous. I'm really looking forward to not just going to the academy, but pandemonium. I've gone through and I've done a bunch of the courses already through Aquascape University, oh, awesome. which are just fantastic. Those really help with a, a lot of understanding. There's a lot to learn. I've never had one bad experience so far through the entire process with wanting to become a CAC. It seems like all the CACs I've met, and especially Ralph mentoring me and a couple of my partners, That's awesome. is just fantastic.
fast. Well, I've never heard it that way, but that actually makes a lot of sense to me. Maybe that's why I enjoy it so much. It is a true art form and it does speak back to you. It says, thank you. It changes lives. It brings families together. Absolutely. It does all kinds of awesome stuff. Absolutely. And I can't wait for your family to enjoy this. Oh my God, my wife, I'm telling you, my wife is gonna be <laughs> over the moon. Well, hopefully we get that reaction. Hey Keith, we're gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you enjoy what we do for you. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Look forward. Look forward. Official. We are done. Let's go get key. This is so the best part. All right, Keith, you ready? He's been good. He's been. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that. Oh, oh, he's gonna flip out. What's your, what's your favorite part? Just coming out the door, like, what's your favorite part? I don't know if I can pick one thing. I think one thing that drew me directly over there is obviously those, those falls. I mean, that's just, that's unreal. I mean, I, I, I knew that those coming over those rocks would just be beautiful, but that, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, mine better than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> that is seriously incredible. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, let's go, Ralph, walk them around with this show. <laughs> destination rocks, oh. big flat rocks. Got these awesome destination flat rocks for the grandkids to come sit up. That's what I was just in. thinking, they're gonna be dangling in there. Yeah. I'm seriously gonna have to rope them to drag them back in the house. You don't need to go in the house anymore. Well, that's the other thing too, I don't know, pitch a tent. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll stay out here. Oh my, like Polly's not gonna, there's no way she could have even imagined what is out here. You know, and the, the plants, I mean, the way you guys orchestrated that, that is, that is so fantastic. Jack was really, he was really <laughs> proud of his planting job. He's more proud of the plants than the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, I mean, what about your hard work at the bridge? I mean, this thing just fits perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. It is certainly way more than what I expected. So you see this nice current we've got coming in here? Yeah, All that leaf debris comes right in here, swirls around. Just get a leaf net, break it out. Nice and easy maintenance. Yeah. This right here, like, again, has gone way beyond what I expected, but I think the biggest thing for me is how much my wife is gonna love this. Because she's always been supportive of me, extremely, and going and, and wanting to become a CAC and, and all of that, very supportive, but this right here is going to, that's just gonna encapsulate it for her. I mean, she is going to, <laughs> she has no idea. I think in her head, she thinks, oh, okay, it's gonna be nice. You know, it's gonna be nice, like the one she's gotten to see in person. But here, when she walks out that door and realizes what she has right here, the only regret I have is that you guys are not here to physically see her reaction. But uh, yeah, cause man, like Ollie, if anything gets her to cry, this might be it.
that's a wrap. Another awesome project. Another amazing customer. I can't wait to him, Keith and his entire family enjoy it the way so many of us do um, living that Aquascape lifestyle. You guys know the routine, right? Like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your cousins, tell people you don't even like about this. Make sure you show Ralph some love on his channel. We're really trying to help grow his channel. Check out Atlantis out there if you haven't already. And uh, I can't wait to work with these guys again. It's so much fun. We have a great time every time we come out and build. And sometimes we pull off some pretty amazing projects. Also, keep your eyes out for Keith, a guy that builds stuff like this on his first try. He's got a bright future ahead of him. So wish him the best of luck. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye.